So this video is in loving memory of an incredible Doctor Who writer and script editor and person in general, Terence Dix, who sadly passed away on the 29th of August 2019. There are so many other people who have done incredible tributes. I want all of you, if you have tweeted about this, made posts or podcasts or videos, and now's the time to share anything you've made. Please do comment down below. Let me know how Terence Dix impacted your life. There is a fundraiser that has been started uh, in memory of Terence to his favorite charity. I will link to it in the description down below. Please do share that and donate if that is something you are able to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. On August 29th, 2019, Terence Dix, an incredible Doctor Who writer and an amazing person, uh, sadly passed away. And uh, as a result, there have been a, an absolute flurry of people uh, remembering Terrence Dix and, uh, and talking about how much of an impact he had on them. And of course, being in the Doctor Who sphere, he's just an incredible Doctor Who writer who's contributed so much to the show and to many fans' lives growing up that uh, there's just so much to be said about this uh, incredible man. And uh, I'm not the best person to do that, so please, by all means, comment down below with what Terrence Dix means to you. And uh, I'm not going to do a, uh, a, a theme in this video uh, because I really just want to keep things somber and respectful. Um, and so today I want to, uh, I'll be linking to the TARDIS Wikia uh, article about Terrence Dix because it will give you the best idea of all of the TV stories that he's written for uh, with Doctor Who and about his career. I'm gonna quote from the TARDIS wiki, a major characters and concepts created in a Terrence Dix script or substantially developed by him as script editor include the Time Lords in the War Games, co-written with Malcolm Hulk, as well as the Master, played by Roger Delgado. More minor creations include the Rutans, the Warlord, the Death Zone, and Morbius. And uh, Doctor Who television credits include the War Games with Malcolm Hulk, Robot, The Brain of Morbius, rewritten substantially by script editor Robert Holmes and credited to the pseudonym of Robin Bland, Horror of Fang Rock, State of Decay, and The Five Doctors. A, a big way that Terrence Dix impacted Doctor Who fans' lives is through the target novelizations that he wrote. So before 4K releases, before Blu-rays, before DVDs, before VHSs, before television repeats. The only way to relive a Doctor Who episode or to learn about what a Doctor Who episode was if you didn't, if you had missed the episode when it aired on TV were the Doctor Who target novelizations. Basically uh, really accurate recaps of the Doctor Who episodes and sometimes they would expand on characters, sometimes it would be really accurate to what was shown on TV, but many people grew up reading these, rereading them and reliving the episodes. Uh, through all of the many different stories that Terrence Dix wrote. So he may have not necessarily written the original TV episode, but he wrote the novelizations. And that's a big way that people, you know, have such lovely childhood memories of the incredible person he was. Many people on Twitter referring to him as Uncle Terrence, talking about their memories of reading all of the novelizations that he did. The incredible writing that he did just contributed so much to the Doctor Who world. Gallifrey, not mentioned by name, was it's credited to him, the fourth Doctor, Harry Sullivan, K1, Morbius, the Sisterhood of Karn, the Rutans, the Great Vampires, the Game of Rassilon, and the Death Zone, Rastern Warrior Robot, the Time Scoop, and the Eye of Orion. All of these were major characters and concepts created for or debuting in a Terrence Dix script. Terrence Dix was a script editor for uh, season 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 of Doctor Who, really showing that era of the 70s where the, the end of the 60s and the 70s where Doctor Who changed drastically and had the potential to, the changes like that that were so massive had the potential to end the show or to keep it going. And he is definitely somebody to credit with the success of Doctor Who and anybody who grew up with fond memories of the John Pertwee era have Terrence Dix to thank for that. And the way that he set up the fourth Doctor era and wrote for that and that just everything that, that Anybody who works on Doctor Who at one point and has positively contributed to the show is partially responsible for any success that follows. So Tyron Sticks keeping the show alive and well in the 70s meant that it could go on to the Tom Baker era and all that we had in the 80s and then to eventually the new series and to any of us who, who grew up with Doctor Who later on. You may not necessarily know who Tyron Sticks is, but you know what Doctor Who has done for your life and he is heavily responsible for 
keeping Doctor Who alive and turning it into the phenomenon that uh, it really is today. And and for anybody like myself who I didn't necessarily, I did read these when I was younger, but I didn't grow up picking these out of necessity and reading them every single day. And I never sadly got to meet him um, or get an autograph or anything. But I have been so heavily, if you have noticed, I have my life has been heavily impacted by Doctor Who and Doctor Who means so much to me and getting to meet all of you wonderful people just wouldn't have happened if uh, the show hadn't have been successful all the way back then. Taron Six was a big contributor to keeping the fandom alive and well and keeping Doctor Who on the air and running and doing his best and it's not all down to him there were many other people who were the reason that the show was successful but he contributed in so many incredible ways and loads of people just talking about how much Terrence meant to them and it's really humbling and it really makes you want to learn more about Terrence and, and his work on the show and so I would love if you guys could comment down below if you have any uh, favorite stories that he wrote or was a script editor for if you learned anything about him if you got to meet him if you had anything signed by him or, or just how how Terrence has impacted your life uh, it would be lovely to just have this be a, a whole a place where people can go and learn about this incredible writer for Doctor Who and script editor. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!